Debuting from the days of Menorot DS, it is the monochromatic black twin in a set of two. It is LHB03, Ragna 6, left form, with a kit of mobile cooler, laser, spark strike, biped legs, and the leg ability of G Loader, which buffs the success relative to the user's Metaforce charge. Now, as a model debuting from the days of Metarot DS, Ragna 6 and his twin, the right form, have been models that we've seen in games for a relatively long time now and have made their marks in a lot of standard libraries pretty easily, especially given that they're part of the same series as Atheist, who is the original Longhorn Beetle type. Albeit their designs are rather strange, not necessarily being beetles per se, their marks in that particular family are most certainly not to be lo looked down upon either. Mobile Cooler on the head part is a support based skill that once activated serves two different kinds of buffs. The mobile in Mobile Cooler is Mobile Boost, which is a 50% boost to the mobility of himself and all allies across the team. And the cooler part is, well, just that, a 50% boost to himself and all allies cool stat. So two buffs in one means that you will be going very notably faster, especially on the return trip any time that you make an action, which will make which will very easily help amount to them to keep to the speed that you want to maintain over the course of a fight, especially given that in a game of competitive meta, speed is king. Laser on the left arm is an optic attribute skill that has a times 1.5 damage bonus when you when a, with a 30% charge and a times 3 damage bonus or times 2 damage bonus at 100% charge. But the very nice thing about Laser is that even with a very solid base power at almost 1600, it really doesn't need that charge in order to be very powerful. And it's a skill that almost anyone can use very conventionally. The Metaphor's charge requirement here only just makes it even more so of a bonus if you are able to maintain it. Spark Strike or Charge Spark on the left arm is a melee attribute skill that is also CG reliant to a point, but also in a completely different way. Charge Spark, or its counterparts, uh, char uh, Charge Shot, or Charging Shot, basically consume a very small amount of charge on use, very similarly to, to Charge or Hyper Charge Buster or Blade. But, instead of getting a damage bonus relative to the amount of Metaforce Charge it consumes, Charge Spark and Charge Strike actually give you a speed bonus. For the entirety of your next turn, if you consume 5% of your Metaforce Charge, or 10% if it's not capped, you get a 50% speed boost to your heat and your cool stats as long as you can maintain that, that for your entire next turn. And it's spammable, which means as long as you can maintain the charge, you can make use of that speed bonus and go Mach 2 and Mach 3 as many times and as freely as you please. Which means you can use this either to accelerate back and forth for a million sword strikes all at once, or you can use it for a much stronger but slower attack to accelerate it and make it easier for you to use to make make it easier to use commercially. Biped legs means that Ragna 6, the left form, will have a very solid coverage across most terrains, and arguably very diverse coverage across all terrains at that. And when it comes to numbers, he's actually not too shabby either, despite being a relatively synergetic and not very um complex design, I guess I can call it. With a base armor at about 3,300 for the head, 3,300 for the right arm, 3,000 for the left, and 3,900 for the legs. He's just a little squishy when it comes to the HP department, so a little bit of caution is advised. And he is going to be struggling just a little bit to stay alive with the relatively low armor. But with leg stats, he's packing about 860 for that base mobility, so already off to a very solid start with the speed. An evade of 1046 is nice too, as it means he'll have a pretty fair time dodging or grazing incoming attacks. He's not going to be dodging everything per se, such as someone with a flight or a sea base leg, but the chance will still be there all the same. A melee resist at 1086 isn't too shabby either, as it means he can hold himself fairly well up close and personal, but a shoot resist of 1291, almost 1300, is going to be a really big strong point for him, as it means he's much better off holding his own at a distance, much better than he is up close. 
However, it's also worth noting that G Loader is a really interesting idea here with his kit as well, as it means that the higher his Metaphor's charge goes, the higher of a success bonus that he gets. And I believe it is primarily geared towards shooting specifically, just not listed, which will tie very easily with his emphasis on the shooting resist and the power of his laser, which will tie very nicely. The higher your charge, the higher your success, and the much higher likelihood you are of landing the hit or even landing a critical hit on top of that, as long as you can maintain that charge. All this being said though, as a pure set score, I honestly have to rate Ragnar 6 left form a very solid 7.5 out of 10. He's pretty decently well rounded, you can use mobile cooler a bunch of times at 3 charges, even if they don't stack, laser and, char and sp uh, charge spark and as, as well as biped legs with G-Loader do synergize incredibly well with each other, and with the right metal nature, he can basically be his own independent Metaforce battery with no real outside assistance required. Laser will be his primary mode of focus here with his with his main damage, and G Loader will help feed into that to make sure that all his hits land and are even higher likelihood of crits the higher of a charge he has. And if he needs to go for the speed game, well, you really don't have to look much farther than Mobile Cooler and, Sp and Charge Spark all at once, and that's on top of his already very impressive base speed at 860. So compared to most other models which will have speed as an emphasis but you have to build toward it, Ragnar 6 left form honestly starts with speed right out of the gate and has several different modes to make him and allow him to go even faster the longer the fight drags on. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him at an equal 7.5 out of 10 for these same reasons. Honestly, you really could use any one of his three parts and generally not go wrong because they are all very well-rounded skills you can use basically anywhere. Mobile Cooler for like two different separate stacks of speed, bo of speed boosting that you can make use of. Laser for conventional shooting of, of, an, optic attribute at, of an optic attribute, even if it is a heavy part. And a charge Spark on the left arm. And it is also worth noting that his heat and cool stats are actually pretty solid too, now that I make, as I look at them again. 5 and 600 is usually a pretty solid range for the heavier or more powerful parts. But Charge Spark or Spark Strike with, an, with a heat of 869 and a cool of 750 means he's already going to be going wickedly fast whether he has the charge to pump into that boost or not. And the biped legs with G-Loader, they're not going to be the greatest ever, even if it will have an emphasis for shooting and his stats are there, they're not too shabby, but if you're looking for someone that's obsessively broken that'll completely shatter the meta, Ragnar 6 may or may not be a model for you.